That is what I like to see. Winter clothing. No more standing around in the freezing cold. Now I don't feel guilty running around getting what these kids have. Which one of you sucker kids are right? Really? That's neat. They're a gift for something. Yes, indeed they are. They're, oh, dude. So she's knitting gloves. I like trying to figure out before the game tells me. That's nice of you. Oh, she's got kindness. That's what she's got. Yeah! I knew it. All right. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not... Okay. I was like, I don't think I have kindness. Oh, <laughs> take heart, not give heart. You need more belief, you dumb girl. You don't believe enough in the kindness. All right, cool. A warm, fuzzy gift of generosity. All right. Dude, I've got to get... Dude, I've had this enthusiasm on me, like, forever. Somebody in this town must be unenthusiastic. But let's go see what all the feelings are first. All right, so this little girl's got something. It's here. Are you okay? How did you hurt yourself? Oh, I'm being fine. Thank you for your concern. It's just that I love being tobogganing. Maybe she's got restraint because, like, she's hurt, but she's not complaining. In the past, I think that got... Oh, no, she's got courage. And it's a boy. It's not a little girl. I don't know why I automatically assumed this was a little girl. All right, I am not becoming a cowardly coward. It's okay. You only need to borrow a little. I like how... See, this kid's got the idea. Is like, if you're taking my courage, then I'm, I don't, I'm not going to be courageous anymore. But that's not the case, kid. In fact, you probably have too much courage. You're going to get hurt. For some reason, I thought restraint, because earlier in the game, a kid, like, was got had gotten hurt, but, um, like, after the kid got hurt, uh, he wasn't complaining about it, and so he had restraint. Alright, what do you have? Anything I can use? Is it you? The people of Yule love delicious ice to eat together is our happiest time. Sounds nice, but it makes it kind of cold. Chilly cold, the very contrary. My ice stew blows away all the chills. So, she is... I don't think I've... Have I collected... Oh yeah, I collected confidence. I got confidence from somebody in Motorville and I gave it to the kid. Alright. Give me your confidence. And now, after that, I'll go check around with all the villagers and see if there's any easy quests that simply involve me giving feelings to people. Like, those travelers, they always need feelings. So we'll go check with them first. The traveling... You know the traveling couple. So we'll go check out the traveling couple, see if they don't need some feelings, because they always do. They're never happy where they are, and they're never settled. Ooh, frosty flan! Sounds delicious. All right. What do you want, dude? We're not peddling our wares here. Wait, what? I've made up my mind. Come on, let's go. Stock up and bottle him, and we'll go off. Never mind that. How can we trust people who live with things like these? I'd rather some of our stock went rotten than have to stay here. Come on, we're leaving. Dude. Um, I don't think these guys have ever peddled their wares anywhere. Like, he's all like, oh, the, we're not peddling our wares here. Has he ever sold a single thing? Like, seriously, I don't think this guy has ever wanted to sell me anything. Maybe I've never tried. Oh my gosh, that just occurred to me. I don't think I've ever, like, talked to this guy after I've, um, given them what they need. Maybe I should, like, chit-chat this dude and see if he'll give me anything. All right. Goodness, I can believe I was so rude to the Tomte after they were so kind to us. What an oaf I've been. You cured me again, didn't you? Thank you so much. You better go and apologize to everyone here in town. But before that, here, to say thanks. Hey, you know what? Sprite Dew is almost like Mountain Dew. Alright. Sell me something. Yep, of course. See, like I said, these people, they're always like, Oh, we're not gonna sell our wares here. No, you lying sons of bitches. You're not gonna sell your wares anywhere. I don't even think you guys actually own a shop. Yeah, how do you like that accusation? But I think now this dude has got the belief I seek to fill up my sweet, sweet thing full of stuff. Give me... Take heart. Give your heart to me via me taking your belief. Alright, cool. And hopefully some of the other people here in town are lacking some of these particular feelings and I can just... See, I always like these quests because they're quick. They yield um, a reasonable amount of stamps and so on and so forth. Alright, you're the swimsuit girl, correct? Yep, alright, so we'll get back to you later. Um, oh, and the only other person who actually has a quest right now is was that person in the house up there. So hopefully, they are actually in need of some sort of thing. I'm losing my use for words. I never had a use for words to begin with. Don't even confuse me with actually having had a, the ability to use words ever. All right. So what do you need? Or is it you, or is it the other person? It's this dude. All right. Such cold. I'm hating to go outdoors. 
Oh, he needs courage. Has become suddenly- Yes, I called it. He's afraid of going outside. But he's like, he already lives here. So how is he afraid? Because he's broken hearted. What? Lost his restraint? Dude, they confuse me with some of the things that people don't have sometimes. Restraint? Uh-uh. Fuck that. And apparently I don't have any restraint. Fuck you. Restraint? Fuck that. That is a lie. That is a dirty, poor lie. Plus, now there's like a different... What? Oh no, no. It's just the way the room was shaped. Alright. So I guess that's all I can do here until I get some restraint. Um, I am gonna actually go to the shop, pick up a few needed items so I can actually, like, be prepared. Firstly, I'm gonna pick up some Phoenix Feathers because that is something that I've been lacking. Look at all these sweet weapons I can get. So I'm gonna get Blazing Blade. I'm probably gonna get two of them, not one for Spermy. I know Spermy is probably pissed. Spermy is probably like, you don't even love me. I'm actually gonna get one for Zombo because I do want to use Zombo eventually. His attack stat is pretty high and I haven't even given him any attack stat, so... He is reasonably a badass. And the reason I got this weapon is because I think it'll be strong out here. But, oh yeah, this will be good for the Tomte Wumper. Will be good for my boy Gunter. Mmm! Gunter loved that. And this weapon kind of sucks, but this weapon, on the other hand... Oh, I can only buy one. Well, that's going to Lemur Face Plus. Sorry, other dude. It is going to my boy. And now I can sell shit. I've got a lot of weapons that... So I'll just cut this out, because I'm about to sell a lot of stuff. Alright, now that I sold stuff, I have more money. Uh, Aurora Cloak seems to be a pretty good upgrade for Lemur Face Plus, so I'm gonna get it for him. And Tundra Shield seems to be a pretty damn fancy upgrade for my boy Money Mayhem. And shit, this is an upgrade for... Only an upgrade, I like that... Oh shit, I don't have enough money. I'm barely shy. I'm barely shy of enough money. Well, whatever, we're gonna get Wolf Fangs for someone. Who can wear wolf fangs? Gunter and Lemur Face Plus. Gunter doesn't even have, yeah, I was about to say, he doesn't even have a thing equipped, so it goes to Gunter for now. Alright, cool. So now that I've bought a bunch of shit, wasted like all my dough, but trust me, it was totally worth it. Oh, what the fuck? There's a. Oh, that's the girl who wants the swimsuit, duh. I was like, oh, there's a quest over there! I'm so stupid, I better go try and do it before I even remember that I've already tried to do that quest and I'm dumb. Alright, cool. So now that we're all geared up with brand new gear, it's like fiery gear, which who knows, maybe it'll turn out to like suck against the enemies out here. I don't actually know, but now I'm finally gonna be able to, yep. Dude, see, this is just such like a cheap way to move around the map, but it's not cheap, it's just like a part of the game. And fucking, I can't land because the way this shit is designed <laughs> pisses me off sometimes. Alright, let's try this again. Come up this way is just oh I fucked it up again. Whatever. We'll just fucking God damn it, repoint yourself. Repoint your bitch ass. There we go. Come over this way. Come on. And look, I can't get to like come point like right next to me. Oh yes I can. <laughs> I was all like complaining, I was like, it's not doing what I want it to do. When in reality it's doing exactly what I what does this guy say now? Ning to you, I'm having been told by the elder of the village you can pass. Here we go, probably another dungeon. As far as, as dungeon as dungeon can be, the Glittering Grotto. I enter it now. And you know what? Maybe getting fire element weapons was not a good idea. See, cause like, originally in my brain, I thought it was a good idea, because um, I was thinking like, Pokemon, damn it, I keep on thinking about that, and I was like, oh, fire is strong against ice, but I think it counts ice in this game as, um, as water, so I guess we'll find out once I start battling things. You know what? I am going to, as long as I'm here, we're gonna drop off Turbandit, even though, dude, Turbandit's pretty high level, like, maybe I should actually be doing shit with Turbandit, but I don't think so. We're gonna drop off, man, he's got gear on him and everything, but maybe I should just take it off. He is not- Lil Slugger, even though he has a sweet nickname, not turning out to be something I really like, but Matterhorn, on the other hand. So... Alright, is there anybody in here that, like, I sort of feel would be cool to have on my team? Major Bird looks pretty cool. 
And, but I didn't nickname him, so he's not coming on the team. So we'll put, just for leveling up purposes, at least for the time being, Matterhorn will join the team. And we'll put Cog back up. Cog, you know, Cog is cool looking. Maybe Cog could turn out to be cool in the end. All right, Matterhorn. Are you excited? You're on the team. You've made the cut. And dude, Matterhorn maybe will turn out to be a great defensive wall. Or maybe Matterhorn will turn out to be a total pile of shit. Who knows? Only this battle will tell. Can I? I can't even. Okay, I got the jump. I couldn't even tell which way this fucking thing was facing. Like. Okay, so we got a Sasquish. I already know I can take those down. Now it's time to find out if my theory about my weapon selection was bad. Oh no! They do uh, extra damage here. You know what? I think the game's typing system isn't as basic as I think it is. Or I think... In my brain, I keep on thinking there's only like four types of enemies in this game. But I think the actual case is that there's many types. And so, like, I think in the game, the way they count this is it is sort of like, um... These enemies are like icy, so they get melted by my weapon. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that makes sense for the style of enemies that there are in the game. Am I not correct in that assumption? But you know what? Some of my things I did buy non fiery weapons just now. Maybe that was a mistake, but that fight seemed to go particularly well. And I want to go check and see what's up this crickety rickety looking ice bridge. There is an item over here. Oh! I almost, uh, turned my back from that thing and I was like, not a good idea, Raktar. That ain't how we play. So I realized that I can actually probably be using- so remember how I got that ability that says that every time I'm done with a battle, I automatically collect all the glims that dropped on the battlefield? I feel now that I could be using that ability more efficiently by switching to whichever member of my party doesn't have all of their, um like, glims up at the end of the fight. You know what I mean? Like, I, if Esther is low on magic and I see a bunch of magic glims out on the battlefield, I could switch to Esther right before the end of the battle, and that way, all the magic glims will go to her, because I think it's which, whichever player you're actually playing as is the one that collects all the glims. Holy fuck! Dude, that snow move that I showed? Did that do a lot of damage or what? Holy shit, man. That was rough. And see, I should see I should play as Esther. So she starts collecting the magic at the end of the fights because now she's running a wee bit low on the magic side. I did it again where I might be heading... Oh, no, no, I did head towards the dead end. I see, I always try and head towards the dead ends first, not last, because I want to collect all these sweet, sweet items. Oh, an Ice Queen. That's something I've never fought before. Dude, I could rock the Ice Queen's world with, uh, whatever, but I'm gonna bring out Lemurface Plus here, even though... Oh, he does neutral damage. Okay, that's good. So, he doesn't, he doesn't, like, lose damage, but he does neutral damage. And the reason I'm switching over to Esther is so if I see any magic glims out on the field, I can just pick them up, and then if there's any at the end of the battle, I can, um... They'll just automatically go to her. But I'm not 100% sure about my theory where whoever you're playing as collects all the glims. But I think that feels to me like it would make the most sense, is that whoever you're playing as currently is who gets the glims at the end of the battle. I'm using that word glim like a... Money Mayhem is now metamorphable. Now, I think that I should do it right now, and I know that seems risky. Especially since he's, like, carrying the team right now. But, here's the thing. I was talking to my brother about this. About theories. About this game. And I was like, dude, if you don't metamorph them right when they get to metamorphing level... Oh, man. If you don't do it right when they get there... See, the problem is, right... Hmm... We're gonna make him this guy. Into dynamite! If you don't do it right when they get there they'll never be able to catch up in levels again. And so it's like, if I want Mighty Might to ever catch up in levels again, if I want Money Mayhem to ever be a team player... And look, because he's in his final evolutionary form, his attack is actually pretty... is not bad, so... It will take him some time to catch up in levels, so I'll have to swap him down... for Adora Blamo, though. Damn it! Oh, maybe I just made big mistakes. Let's give... okay. Here's what we'll do. 
We'll pop him out. Put put uh, give her lemur face plus and cogburn. See, this is why I need more things that I'm leveling up and keeping well equipped. Is for times like this, but this should work out with lemur face plus. And then look at this. When he gets all his shit worked out, he's gonna be a beast. So I know this is risky, but like I said, now he's got this whole dungeon to kind of um. He's got like a whole dungeon to kind of level up and stuff, and that way he'll catch up, and hopefully he won't suck ass. But like I, uh, such a hard call, man. But yeah, now I've got Lemur Face Plus on my team. Lemur Face Plus is the plus of all Lemur Faces, so I'm not too horribly worried about this, even though I should be. But look, yeah, Lemur Face Plus is a fine battler. Gogo -Go has great defense, even though Esther is kind of getting her ass kicked. Maybe Gogo's, and I bet, oh god, we gotta get adorable ammo out, and uh, healing tier, Esther, oh my gosh, get, oh, she's dead, oh, she's dead. Now I've got a healing tier myself, oh, that did not go, that did not go well. She didn't have a lot of mana to begin with, that was the real problem was that she was kind of lacking in the mana department from the start. But hopefully Swain will hold this battle together. All right, get, okay, Lemur Face Plus, get out here. Show this Sasquish who's the bass. Don't, don't let these Sasquishes fact with you. Look at this, Swain's got a ton of defense. And also, Swain, put a, put a dude out, man. Oh, Brainsu! Dude, Brainsu needs weapons. Man, I need to arm my dudes. I have, I've been lazy. Oh no, I did put stuff on Brain Sue. Cool, so he's he's like a fighter now. All right, good. And Matterhorn leveled up, Esther leveled up, so she gained all of her shit back that she just lost. That's lucky. All right, see? That didn't turn out the best, but it didn't turn out the worst. So, even though I fucked up, things worked out for the better. Like, I don't even need to go, uh... Oh shit, don't... All right. No back attacks. Oh, I forgot that Lemur Face Plus is also metamorphable now. So we need to, we really need to like, get uh, Money Mayhem built back up. And I need to equip some of these new guys that I have. All right, so we got this little dude out here now. But what is this? There's no hidden pathway behind this wall. What? Is he? But what is this? There, what is there? Is there a hidden pathway? And he's like tricking me? I don't get it. Fireball! Dude, I feel like there's totally a hidden pathway. And this guy's like lying to me. Should I use magic lamp? Nope, I can't use it here. Whatever, okay. I'm trusting you. Oh no, no, that's the only way to go. I'm not trusting you. Oh, that's not the only way to go, okay. I'm trusting you, you little shithead. If there is a hidden pathway behind that wall, I'm gonna murder you to death. Alright, I'm gonna be completely 100% honest with you. I was not doing so hot in the fights out here. So I actually just now decided to go... Oh. What is happening? I'm gonna die! Oh no, now I can't go back. Okay. Huh. So now I can't go back. I have made mistakes. But yeah, I actually went, oh, and now well, I guess I'll just have to come back and get that item later. But yeah, so I went and did some grinding. I wasn't doing as hot in the fights as I would like to have. And so yeah, now I'm doing better. It's actually the first time in the game that I actually just like stopped to grind. I was like, fuck, nothing. man. I was like, I really, I really oh, have to just work this nothing. out. And I basically got Mayhem back up to the point where his stats would would be um, like comparable with everyone else's, and now things are okay. By the way, also you might notice that I am like um, just kind of like going all out attack on these turban legends, and that's because they do that damn snowstorm move. Like the ear splitter, I thought was bad, but it doesn't do. Holy shit, it does damage Borinsu a lot. But yeah, that friggin' snowstorm move is like vicious. I should not have all out attacked just now because now uh, nobody's like doing well on health because I've been all out attacking this whole fight. But yeah, all out attacking is actually not a horrible strategy. And then that keeps Esther from overhealing, which is how I died before I went and started grinding. 
So it's like, I don't know, it's kind of like this balance thing, where it keeps Esther from overhealing, and then I can just patch everybody up with healing touch at the end of the fight, so yeah, I don't know. I think I've got things better worked out now than I did before. I am more confident in my strategies. I hate it when, like, a little portion of the map just doesn't appear for some reason. I'm like, map portion? Why you, why you no appear? Alright, so dude, if you come over this way, this guy is standing in front of something and he's saying, there are being hidden pathways, their walls are looking strange. Yes, if you're looking at the one beside me, huh? I am. Oh! Dude! So you don't need to, like, use an ability on it like I thought? You can just, like, walk through it. Oh! Intriguing. See, earlier, remember, when I came up to that guy, I was like... I was like, how do I get through that? And now I know. The answer on how to get through there is... To not use an ability, it's just to walk through. That's awesome, actually. That's... It's neato, cool, clever. And, of course, it's nice that they have the little dude standing next to him to kind of, like, mark where you can actually do it. Something gives me the feeling, though, that I'm about to slide down this and not be able to get back up. Oh, no, maybe not. What the prawn? It's not your mom, it's Alicia. Alright, this could be the Mall of the Mountain King Sing's been apt hiding place for the visionary magic of the ancients. If we could only find it, we might stand a chance because it's defeating Dark Jin. That's my, oh, yep, the old emperor. But, see, Oliver should know better. He's like, what is his problem? He should know that's not his mom. All right. Her emperor spent his time hanging around with pretty young sages, did he? Swain, is it really time for your lewd comments? Yes. All right. So we're seeing, like, the memories of things. All right, now remember. We ain't, we're not. It was decided a while back, searching all over she was. Alicia, I mean, for some ancient spell or something. That must have been a conversation they had back then. Can't have been anything else. Certain of it, I am. But why did we see it? We just saw a flashback of the past. The only question is, yep, there we go. It's like, why? It won't be much longer now. We will save you, I promise. Oliver, sorry, everybody. I'm forgetting about... The, I'm compromising the mission to think about my mother. What? Oh, okay. I just got a... Maybe I need bridge? There's an icicle in half and be a little nudge would send it tumbling straight down. Hmm? Alright. So... I guess I need to use... I think I've got... Uh, Pulse, maybe, would do that? Let's try... See, Pulse... Can also, yep, move just... Pulse is the thing to use. Don't tell me... Pulse is... Okay, I was like, game... Don't you dare tell me that Pulse is not the thing to use in this situation. Cause yeah, it absolutely is. And if you say it is not the thing to use... Then you are a lying son of a bitch, you game. Oh, and now I guess I probably need to use Fireball to get those. But I mean, that's only guessing. Let's try out some Fireball action. I'm gonna... Dude, it's gonna use all my mana. This bullshit. I need my mana. I'm hoping there's like a save point up here. So I can have like a nice midpoint healing place, but... What's funny is, I'm not... Like, if you look at the map, I'm not actually that far... Actually, if you look at the map, I am actually... I was like... If you look at the map, I'm not really that far into this place, but then I was like, no. If you look at the map, I really am reasonably far into this place. But let's head back this way really quickly. I saw a chest hanging out, just asking to be plucked up by me. Oh. Oh. And now I have to melt these icicles with healing touch, because the warmth of healing melts the icicles. But now that, like, gets rid of my bridge, but maybe there's more icicles that I can knock down. Maybe it's just a question of mana. Well, see, now I've, like, sealed my route back, so really, my only choices now are to A, die, or B, not fuck up and just keep on going. You know what I mean? Because otherwise, I'm kind of screwed. Alright, um... Hmm. Dude, I don't want to fight that thing right now. Oh, shit. Dude, they are, like, they're taking all my mana. Just cut it out. If you're gonna take all my mana, give me a save point. Otherwise, I'm going to be an angry lad. Seriously, like, taking every last ounce of kershmidgens of my mana. 
Oh, and if I want that chest, I have to use mana. This is stupid. It's okay, it's okay. I think Oliver maybe will level up soon, and I'll get all my mana back. And if not, I'm fucked and I'm gonna die. It's okay. Death. Oh, handful of chocolate bonbons. Well, everyone's at full health anyway, so... But this guy is different. This isn't an enemy I've fought before. This is Papa Sasquatch and Mama Sasquatch. I'm still more worried about Turban Legend, though, so let's go after Turban Legend, because he's got that stupid Snowstorm ability that does tw basically 20 billion damage. In fact, I'm going to all-out attack Turban Legend. Oh, that's going to be a bad idea. I should not have all-out attacked, because now I'm going to need... Oh, and this guy's going to use that other ability that kills me. He has the same ability. Well, fuck. I basically just, like, sealed my own fate of death. Yep. Oh, man. I wasn't fast enough. Dude, the battles just immediately got tougher. Does she? Oh, I can't. Mm. I kind of might need to use this. I feel like I'm gonna die if I don't bring him back. Like, usually, I wouldn't bring somebody back during, like, a non major battle, but I feel as though. Shit, there goes Swain. Well, fuck. This is kind of bad. Alright, fuck. Fuck! Oh my gosh, I'm just making mistakes left and right. Spells, healing touch on myself. Ah, uh, This is so bad! Alright, spells, healing touch on myself. Holy shit! Oh, this isn't even- I'm not even like doing anything right now. Alright. Let's get some damage done to Mama, Mama Sasquatch here. And hopefully, Esther does some healing. If not, oh my gosh. Spells, healing touch, on myself. Holy shit, this is so bad. Like, this fight is... I feel like it's way tougher than it should be. And I, like, I just fucked things up old school. Esther must be out of mana, and maybe that's why she's not healing herself? Whatever, let's... Oh, well, the fight's over. Thank you, Lemurface, for carrying the team like a champ while I was failing miserably. Oh my gosh. That fight went... As they would say, badly? Yes, it did. Right. Oh my gosh, and I still didn't run into a save point. I keep on thinking, you know what, I should make sure, like, my team is all ready to go before I keep going onward. Holy shite. Wait, um, I went into the wrong menu. Let's healing touch myself, pop Swain up, maybe use a mana restorative item. Oh, Esther leveled up. Well, she's ready to heal, so fuck. Fuck restoring my mana, even though it's probably a good idea. Maybe that's the only Mama and Papa Sasquatch in the area. I guess that would sort of make sense, just because, like, you know, that's the Mama and Papa. There's not going to be a ton of Mamas and Papas over here. Oh, this, this is bad. There we go, turn around. I was, like, not going to let this guy get a jump attack on me. That would be bad. All right, the two little guys used Snowstorm twice in a row. So I died. You know what? I am just going to call it quits for now. In the next episode, though, I will pick up at the spot that I left off at. So with that, this has been Ragdar. Thank you for watching.